Hi everyone, this is Damien Levy. Welcome in this swing trading live analysis and we are the 10th of April 2023. So let's start with odd USD. So odd USD, we have a weekly move that is quite impressive going down from here all the way here. And in the middle of this move, there is this nice zone of resistance in the middle connected with the 50 MA on the weekly. So that's where I would like to sell. It's quite far, but that's how it is. And on the buy side, there is eventually this zone of resistance transforming into support right now. <clears throat> Odd CAD. Um, so Odd CAD, we are still in a demand zone right here. And I would expect this zone to, to still work because price is really coming inside this zone right now. And before that, it just spiked a little bit above. So I would still expect the price to continue to go up. We can still see there is strength going down with this candlestick going down. So maybe a retest of the low. That's what I would expect this week, today or tomorrow. And after that, the rise. Odd CHF. So the weekly is pretty nicely down. The daily has a beautiful impulsive going down with the downtrend. So with this beautiful impulsive going down, I have two level in the middle, correlated with the volume at price as well. So to save time, I don't go there, but yeah, that's the way it is. And on the four hour, we have a nice zone of supply here and another one here. So this could be a nice chance for us to sell. Odd New Zealand. So the daily is also nice, nicely impressive going down. So weekly should be overall down. So we are in the retracement after 60% Fibonacci right there. And then it continued to go down with a nice impressive going down. There was a, uh, a soup here. And now it's finally come continuing down close below with the spike above engulfing all these zones. So and closing below it. So it looks nice for a seller. So following this daily nice impressive move going down, <clears throat> there is a nice level of resistance here correlated with this zone of supply as well. And after there is two nice level on the remote price here. Odd yen. So odd yen, there is a nice impressive move going up. And we are still in a downtrend overall. That's why I have a level for sell here, but I still have a level for buy here, which represents the bottom of the impressive move going up. Also, because there is usually a lot of, there is already a lot of spikes here, which make it likely to go up again. So price reversed a little bit. So this one is interesting because there is a nice level of volume at price above where the price reversed actually. But I would be more inclined to think that this is a liquidity creation right here and price will break below touch the, the real zone of demand and then from then only from there only go up. Euro order, we have a beautiful movement in perceive going up. It rejected this high uh, already, but now it's come back to it. So maybe this high will not hold anymore. But it is still uh, a nice level of resistance on the weekly. We can see from this spike, it's a monthly level as well. Uh, multiple spike and huge rejection after that. <clears throat> so what we could see this week is basically a liquidity run. Uh, same, we have like a triple top here. So a lot of liquidity there. And we may see a break on it, a fake, and then a reversal from there. And on the buy side, we've since we have a nice, beautiful uh, daily impressive move going up, I have a zone right here for a buy. Uh, resistance from here turning into support right there, hopefully. GBP, odd, uh, same kind of scenario, except that uh, well, there is a, a level right there, actually, in this range. This is a candle kind of created the high here, making a new monthly downtrend. So there is a possibility that the price will just touch this level and go down. But I didn't place this level because there is not so much history as a resistance. 
So I prefer to go a little bit higher with this round number here, where there is more history as a resistance here. So this would make more sense for a sell. And additional to that, the best way for us would be to buy after this bullish angle thing last week, to buy around the bottom of this angle thing, expecting the price to continue to go up. So yeah, that's it. CAD yen. CAD yen. We have a downtrend, pretty clean, but price rejected this low with this huge pin bar right there. And after that, there is a huge move impressive going up. That's why I would expect eventually to buy around this huge level of support with a lot, a lot of spikes. And it will be the first time price return to this zone. So this will be a demand zone, untouched supply and demand zone on daily. And from the weekly perspective, since we are in a weekly downtrend, I would expect this level to hold a little bit, especially the 200 EMA. So see the 20 is below the 50, uh, below 50, below the 200. So this is a downtrend on the weekly using the EMA perspective. So it would make sense for those two levels to hold for a sell. So here we go. And as we can see on the four chart, we have eventually a double top here. So price might take the liquidity, touch those level and then fall down. Or it might just fall from there, but this level would be a little bit lower probability for me because the volume at price doesn't show this level so much. So it's not clean there. CAD CHF. So CAD CHF, what do we got here? We got an overall daily and weekly downtrend and then we had the retracement rejected two times here and then continue to go down we also have this move that was quite impressive going up making breaking this high that's why i have those two level around the bottom right here so i would expect eventually a, a little a lower time frame buy here and then after that the continuation of the downtrend here going down <clears throat> and if this would not hold, because this might be a double top, like a liquidity, liquidity inducement, and the price might just go all the way up, touching this real zone of supply. So there is this possibility as well, which has a strong probability of success. If it breaks those too high, then a sell-off right here, continuing the down, would, make, uh, would have a lot of probability of success. <clears throat> So price is there right now. <clears throat> it's the opening of the market. So candlestick created during this time doesn't really matter much for me. I would expect this beginning of London or New York to see a pattern. If I have a change in trend during those time later on during today, then I will check for it. But right now, no, it doesn't really make sense. CHF yen. Okay, so CHF yen is, uh, it looks very nice. So it breaks this level, which I will remove now. Back. Uh, this level looks nice because there is a double top, eventually a triple one. One, two, three. And then it runs the liquidity right now. And then it will touch this zone of supply. And this one is huge because there was a, a huge drop from there. So there is a possible uh, beautiful trade for a sell coming up today on CHF yen. On the daily chart, we have a huge impressive move going down from there, breaking this low and energy is this low as well. <clears throat> but there is a double top here. So there is also the possibility that the price will run the liquidity above that. And the weekly downtrend is still there. That's why I have this level here. And I have a level for a buy with this nice impressive move on the daily here. In the middle, there is a round number plus a nice level of support and resistance multiple times. So this level makes sense for a buy. So that's the opportunity on CHF yen. But it needs to touch the level and after we will we will check the trend change on the 50 minute chart. Gold. So gold has a nice impressive move going up as you can see from on the daily from here all the way up here and there is this zone of demand right there on the weekly it's a level of resistance from here line chart 
So this would make sense for a buy. We can also see that the candlestick who made the new high is quite weak. <coughs> so there is also the possibility that the price will break those two level and go for a further down move to this weekly level of support because it didn't take the liquidity there. It's an untouched zone. So this would be a possible up as well. But with those two candles leaving the zone nicely up, I would expect still this zone to work for a daily buy, even if it's not a very powerful one. And after going lower, like right here. silver, silver, it's a bit the same scenario. The daily is much stronger here. We can see a clean break on the trend here, right there. And there is a zone of demand, a clean zone, one on the daily as well. So silver for a buy would make a lot of sense. And there is a level of resistance above this round number from the weekly. It's a strong level of resistance here, here as well, multiple times here. So this, this zone is, is huge. So I would expect a buy and a sell above that. <clears throat> Euro USD. So Euro USD didn't tap this candlestick would made this low and there is a 200 EMA again with it. So I would expect a fake of this low and after price going up again. And on the weekly uh, side, we could see a huge rejection from this candle. And above that, there is a 200 EMA and there is a round number at the rejection on the top of this candle. So I would expect eventually to see a rejection there for a while on the daily chart, maybe up to this low right here. And after that, I would see the 200 EMA to be run, which is kind of above here. So we'll see. It's against the trend because the trend is still up on the weekly. The daily trend is kind of up. Yeah, it is up and there was an impressive move right there from here all the way to here. So the buy seems safer than the sell, but the sell with the 800 EMA on the daily would make sense as well. So let's see what happened there. And there is a huge round number. So that's why my level is there. Euro CHF. So on the daily, there was a beautiful impulse going down and then a rejection around the top. And now it's falling down, creating a new low. So a sell seems to be uh, more likely here, but there is a huge rejection from the bottom here. And this level is a huge level of support plus a round number. Resistance here, support multiple time and spike. So I would expect this level to, to hold for a little bit or a buy. Euro CAD. So this is a trade from last week, still open. So the daily is a clean uptrend. The level has been rejected once. This is this zone of resistance rejected once here, uh, actually two times. So there is a possibility that the price will break up. The thing is that, so I would expect the price to continue to fall down a little bit more. And on the weekly, we're still in a nice uptrend on the weekly. So I was saying there was a beautiful zone of supply right here with a huge rejection from it. And it rejected once, breaking the four hour trend here. So I would expect this level to hold a little bit and to fall down up to this zone for a buy. Yeah, the first target will be three reward and the second target will be a lot of reward. Maybe 16 or 15. Uh, Euro. GPY. So your GPY, we have a beautiful, nice, impressive move from here to here. And maybe we're too late in the game because the price is going up again. I would expect the price to reverse more than that to at least this zone of demand. <clears throat> this would make resistance multiple times. So it's a strong volume at price level here. So what I would expect is this four hour downtrend to still hold eventually where it is right now. 
and make a new low. And from this low here, that's what I expect the, the real going up to go. So it is Euro New Zealand. So we have a beautiful up move impressive from this low during the news on New Zealand to this new high. And I would expect to buy around the daily level of support on the volume at price. So this would make sense for a buy here. Now, GBP to USD. So we have a strong level of resistance there with the 200 EMA touch on pound, on pound USD. It seems to be still an uptrend on the weekly, but the candlestick remains a new high are pretty weak. As you can see, there is no impulse. <clears throat> it's very, very weak. So I would expect the 200 EMA to hold. Uh, that's the 100 EMA, sorry, not the 200. I would expect this EMA to hold and price to fall down from there. But the price action is telling me that the price has a difficult time retracing. So this trade was a winning trade, five reward already last week. And uh, we might have an opportunity to buy. It might seem more plausible with the price action right now to have a buy. And after I keep this level, because it might make a fake out, take the liquidity and then go really down after that. So that's why I keep this level. <coughs> Sorry. That's why I keep this level active for this specific week. But I would expect a run off of this high first. That's why I have an alert and a yellow line here. So the best probability is to buy in this move. GDP cat down. So GDP cat, we have a daily impressive move going up from here to here, and it respected the low. It continued to go up. So it might not retrace to this round number, but if it does, it will be a nice run of liquidity, and I would still expect to to buy. And above that, there is a level of resistance. <clears throat> from the weekly plus the 800 EMA from the weekly as well right here and multiple support a lot of support expecting to transform into a resistance and the price action on the weekly are pretty weak to go there price is sitting around the 200 EMA so we might see a spike to the 800 and then eventually a huge fall from there that's what I would expect GBP Swiss franc. So this one, a few weeks ago, there was a railroad track here, kind of engulfing the previous one here and making a bullish impulse. That's why I have those three zones inside of it for a buy. This zone right here being the most powerful at the bottom. So price made the multi multiple um, double bottom right here. It's making another one here. So I would expect still this demand zone right here to have power and to make the price go up. And eventually, since we are in a daily uptrend, to tap up to this zone of supply. It's a, it's a strong possibility. And price <coughs> was able to break a little bit this high, making this new high right here. So if it run just below this one, there would be a lot of stop losses and sell stop. So it might make a huge liquidity for the big boys to buy there. GBP yen. So GBP yen, there is a change in the forward chart trend. Quite nice. From this high to this low, making a new low, breaking this low. So the trend eventually changed there. On the daily, we still have an impressive move going up from here to here. That's why I have buy level right here, highest probability for a buy. But on the sell side, so on the weekly chart, we can see we have a huge impressive move from here going all the way down to here, breaking this low. So the retracement might not be over yet. And we have like a double top created. So we might see some liquidity reach here and then a retracement more going down. That's what I would expect. And this is a huge level of resistance on the weekly as well, those two zones. So a rejection from those zone makes sense. So maybe the rejection already happened. It might break up because the trend is up on the, on the daily and on the weekly, it's up as well. And we have a nice impressive move on the daily from here all the way up to here, creating a new high. So a buy makes a lot of sense here. GDP. New Zealand, 
So it's a little bit the same. We have a weekly trend that is quite up from this low new high here. And we are around a huge level of resistance from there. That's why I would expect this level to hold a little bit. There is a big round number in the middle. So I would expect this level to hold, go all the way down here to this support and then continue to go up. Euro GBP. So this one, there was an impressive going up from the daily and it rejected so far, but the overall move is down okay, on the daily. And the weekly is still up, but it violated this low. So there is a strong possibility that the price would just fake this high and then continue to go down. And on the buy side, there was this huge candlestick untouched, like a fair value gap here. So if price go into this zone, there is 800 MA on the daily, there might be a nice chance for a buy with a nice daily profit here. New Zealand USD. So the weekly trend is down. Price went to this nice zone right here and rejected it during the news last week. It was a fake. It went up, just spiked it, takes the liquidity and then go down. Now it's uh, the downtrend. The trend on the four is down. So we might see the price continue to fall down. That's why I have this level right here for a sell eventually, since this uptrend is broken. And this level is strong following the weekly downtrend. So eventually, price rise up to this level and reject all the way down. And here, there is a strong level of support. New Zealand CAD, so for same kind of stuff, the trend on the forward is broken down. So I would expect this high to hold here. We are in a retracement mode and overall it's an uptrend, but the retracement seems not to be done because it rejected this high nicely. So we might see one of those low touch and from there, eventually the real move upward continuation of the uptrend. New Zealand CHF, so daily impressive, nice downtrend as well. So I want to sell around this high right here. And on the weekly side, we have a beautiful impressive on the weekly from this zone right there all the way up to here. So I would expect the bottom of this weekly trend to hold for a while. That's why I have the level in the middle. New Zealand Yen. So this one, there is a beautiful, strong, beautiful, impressive move going up, but the weekly trend is down. So it rejected this level, might mean it might continue to fall. I would expect the retracement to go a little bit further, like something like that, really reverse from there. And I would expect this daily um, impressive move up to still hold a little bit. And from this level or this level, I would expect the daily trade for buy. USD <coughs> CAD. So USD CAD, we have a weekly uptrend from this low all the way here. And it's a retracement around 75% right, right now. It rejected this level, which is significant level of support right there. But there's this daily impulse to still have strength and eventually reverse the price further down to this low. The candlestick, the daily candlestick who made this low with a nice level of support on the volume of price, as you can see. So I would expect to sell here to continue. And it, there was a touch on Friday, spiking the zone right there, but it doesn't give me a clear signal for a sell on USD CAD right there. So I would expect the price to come back to this zone and eventually violate the high and give me a proper pattern during uh, London Open. So yeah, that's for USD CAD. Uh, it's on this specific chart, we can see the four hour trend is pretty clean going down. And this is maybe not retraced enough right here. So there is a possibility that the price after this channel, basically, or this wedge will fly up to to reach for a more liquid and a better price for a sell, which might be right here. So this level might fail, especially on Monday uh, or Tuesday, and we might see the price going up. And this one will be a very beautiful opportunity for a sell here 
if this happened, and if not, this is the next level right there. But this one would make sense. It's a huge level of support on the forward. There is a beautiful inducement here, candle. So it's a nice uh, supply zone. And when price come back to there, I'm pretty sure there will be a nice trade there. So this week might be nice. Also, I realized I made a mistake on the analysis of last week, the last two weeks, and I found out why the win rate was a bit lower. And um, the basically main improvement, improvement, uh, um, come back to track is basically to follow impressive move from the daily or the weekly. So on this one, I just follow an impressive move from the weekly that is up when I buy around here and here, and when I sell here. So here might be too early. It might be better to sell around here. But that's the way it is. Uh, what makes me sell here is those two nice rejection with huge spikes there. So we might see a huge fast move down. And I would expect this flow to not hold because the candlestick are very weak rejecting this level. So I would expect this level to be taken out for liquidity sake and go back all the way here. And from here, I would really expect to buy <clears throat> with more strength. But for today to have a nice signal, I would expect this high to be broken up. USD CHF. So USD CHF is at a huge level of support right here. And here, resistance turning into support. And there is a huge round number as well. It spiked it during the news. So what I would expect today, eventually tomorrow, is for this range, it's creating a nice range here. So price might eventually uh, fake the high, fake the high, go down, touch this supply and then go down, and then fake the low below this range and then go up for a while more. That's what I would expect this week. So far, nothing happened. And I would really expect this round number to be triggered or very close to it before I take action. So USD yen. So on the daily, there is not really an impressive move. And actually there was, but it was taken out last week at the bottom right here. There was this impressive daily that you can see the impressive move works pretty, pretty well, taking out this high. And then after that, around the bottom, there was a nice level. And this level was taken pretty nicely. And this was a winning trade. So going back on the weekly, we can see on the weekly that the impressive going down is pretty nice. So I have a nice level of resistance here. Plus a round number in the middle of it. So that would be a very nice zone for me to sell. Since the trend seems to be quite nice going down. See, breaking this low, quite impressive going down, and even near this low right here. So this impressive move going down, rejected nicely from here, would tell me that maybe there is a nice chance for a price to continue to fall down, eventually up to this low right here. So that will be the trade for this week. It looks nice and it's going up nicely. And on the forward chart, we can see it's an untouched zone of supply. Really, there is, there is a huge gap here. So if there is no liquidity here, there might be as well a double top right there, plus this one. So a triple top. So a lot of stop losses above that. So a nice move above those high triggering this zone looks like a beautiful trade for sell. USD MXN. So there was a trade last week around this low, but it was a bit complicated to enter because the candle who made the low is. So what could happen this week? Um, it rejected the daily candle who made this impressive move going down. See? This candle right here made the impressive move going down and it rejected the bottom of it in this zone right there. 
what I would expect is eventually the price to go how much history in this zone, or it's a very ancient history. So I would expect eventually the price to reach to this round number, which is a 50 MA as well on the daily. It touched the 20, it rejected the 20 nicely. So if it would go up again, I would expect the 20 to be broken and to reach the 50 and then a down move eventually again. <clears throat> And why I expect the price to continue to fall? Because, well, the commitment of trader is still heavily buying the Mexican peso. And the daily trend overall was from here to here, and it hasn't been broken, even with this impressive move going up. So there is still the possibility that the price continue to fall. And I would still eventually would like to buy around this zone because it's an untouched zone of supply on the lower time frame. That impulsed, that impulsed this huge move up. So if I could see price going a little bit lower, triggers this zone, it would be a very tight stop loss trade, and then go all the way here, and after that eventually continue to fall on the daily. <clears throat> so those two make sense, level below that. USD, ZAR. So this one, there was a trade, <clears throat> but the trade happened during the NFP, so I didn't use it. And I didn't move my line, so I need to. Here we go. So let me show you the trade on this one. So there was this new low on the 15 minute, creating a new high right there, and after breaking this low, and the entry point was a 15 minute candle created the high. And the bottom of this candle was my yellow line right here. I just placed my yellow line just to see what would happen during NFP. And it just happened to, to have been a wonder. The stop loss would have been just above here. You couldn't have taken this trade because it was during NFP and the spread and the slippage might have taken you out. But as you can see, price trigger exactly the entry right there. And it made five reward in, I don't know, one hour or two hours. Just trigger the entry and then go out to five reward quite fast. <clears throat> so this worked, making me believe that it might continue to fall. And price hasn't retraced yet to this zone of liquidity, this demand zone. So we might have a trade still. Uh, today or tomorrow, we'll see. <clears throat> On the daily, there was a beautiful, impressive move going down. And I used the volume at price to find this level, which was this spike right here. This is the level of the volume at price. It's a beautiful one, and it worked wonderfully inside this daily, impressive move going down. So it is a beautiful level, and if price come back to it again, then I would really expect a little bit more uh, sell off from there. And since price hasn't been able to really uh, make a spike above it during NFP, but we have an impressive uh, move right now going up. So I would still take a confirmation, and I will wait the London open because we are talking about South Africa and USD. So London will be more suitable to take any trade there. <clears throat> and the spread is still very high right now. So it will be better in the afternoon. Bitcoin spike this level at 29. Yeah. And now it's ranging a lot below it. So nothing happened. There is still this level at 29 after there is a 30 level. Quite, quite near. Uh, Ethereum. On the daily, there is a nice impressive move going up. So on the forward chart, there is eventually a possibility to enter a trade around the candlestick who made the low right there for a buy on Ethereum. The UK 100, same, a huge move downward on the daily and the weekly. And we have the supply zone right here plus a resistance zone. So this zone may, is high probability for a sell for sure. Price is retracing nicely going up. And we have like one level of rise. Is this better? One level of rise, one retracement, second level of rise, a little retracement, and then eventually the third of rise. That usually is the same size as the first one. So the first one was 386. And if we take 386, where does it lead us? It leads us to the top. 
yeah so careful with it but it looks nice on the daily with this beautiful zone of supply here yeah i would be a seller here for sure it's a beautiful level us 30 so on the weekly we had kind of a downtrend right now retracement mode actually it's still an uptrend but it's a retracement mode there is still this zone that is the last way impressive move creating this new low so i would expect to sell around it a little bit and if the uptrend really would resume to up then i would buy around this level which is this zone of support a huge zone of support here that has been broken up with a weekly impressive move very nice going up and on the supply and demand there is this zone of demand right there so this is a huge level for a buy for sure high probability the sell is high probability and the buy as well s p 500 same style we have this zone of resistance turning into support with a flip zone on the supply and demand concept on the seller side there is a level it's quite far yeah this will be the reference point of this weekly downtrend so eventually around here there is a sell opportunity it's a high probability too and uh, on the buy we can see a nice impressive move last week for two weeks ago on the weekly so i still want to buy around the 20 ma plus this zone of support it's not a very strong one actually it's a daily zone right here <clears throat> so here we go and gp225 finally so this one we had a beautiful impressive move on the, on the daily and you can see by yourself that when there is impressive move on the daily uh, the trade have a way 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 more probability of success that's why this week following this concept we might see a lot of nice trade so on the forward chart there is eventually this zone of supply right here and there is only this one that might work as well it's not on the analysis but this one might work to continue to fall and if i were to buy i would buy only far away from there in this weekly demand zone right there that's where i would want to buy because this demand zone impressive impressed a move that was able to break this high with a spike right there so this, this demand right here make a lot of sense for a buy. So now we might be in a retracement mode on this weekly chart and price will might seek a new low. And when it touches this zone, we might see the real move up happening. So I think it's an exciting week because there is a lot of nice level and there was a nice of impressive move happening during the NFP week last week. So the trade of this specific profile looks to me high probability and i would be really taking as much level as i can properly using a 50 minute change in trend during london open or new york open or eventually asian open if it is uh, an asian pair like or gby or uh, or new zealand eventually gpy that would be it we are done for this weekly analysis i hope you enjoyed it and i wish you success in your trading for this week and see you all next week on monday for me or sunday night for you bye everyone <laughs>